you already created your first custom class when you made the collection view cell. But this time we're going to do something very simple. We're going to create a class to hold some data for our app. So I'll press Command N, choose Coco Touch class. I'm going to name this thing a person, and it's the subclass NS object. This thing is what's called a universal base class for all Coco Touch classes. That means all UI Kit classes ultimately come from NS object, including all of UI Kit. That's UI View Controller, UI Table View Controller, and more. All come from NS object ultimately. Now in Swift, you don't have to inherit from NS object, but you did in Objective C. And in fact, there are some behaviors you can only have if you do inherit from it. That's why I'm using this person as a class here, subclassing NS object, rather than using a struct or something else. We'll go into more detail on that in Project 12, but for now, just make sure you inherit from NS object, then press next and create. We're going to add two properties to our class, a name and a photo for every person. So inside there, we're going to say var name string var image string. So just these two new properties. Now when you do that, of course, we'll see an error. Class person has no initializers. Uh, this is because we have no way of making these things. There's no default memberwise initializer for person. We're going to add one ourselves. We'll say uh, init name string image string. Self.name is name. Self.image equals image. So we have a way to create this person class in code. So now we can start using this thing. Back in viewcontrol.swift, we're going to add a property to store all the people in our application. We'll scroll up the top and we'll say there's a new property called var people is a person array, like that. Every time we add a new person, we need to create a new person object with their details. This is as easy as modifying our initial image picker success method so it creates a person object, adds it to our people array, then reloads a collection view. So we're going to look for that method down here. There we go. Did finish picking media with info. And before we dismiss the view controller, we're going to say let person equals a person with the name unknown and the image, our image name, people.append, that person, and then collection view dot reload data. So this will create a new person instance passing in an unknown name plus the image name random UUID. It will append it to our people array and then reload the collection view. There's still a problem here, but if you can't spot it, that's okay. Try pressing Command R and you should see the problem straight away. As you can see, we're still showing the original labels, all 10 of them, because we've hard coded 10 up here for number of items in section. 